Hello, kindergarten. Look at my really pretty flowers I have with me today. These are actually real flowers. Looking at them on the video, I realize they look kind of fake, but they're not, they're actually real. So I have these here with me today because I wanna teach you about the parts of a flower. And I bet some of you already know some of the parts of the plant. So of course, the yellow part that goes around the center here and the purple part around the center here, those are called the petals. The green parts here that used to be connected to their roots that grew into the soil, the green parts here are called the stem. Now, I'm not sure if these flowers grew in the ground or if they grew in soil, but they used to be in dirt, right? So that dirt probably came up to the bottom here, right where it's cutting off on your screen, and those roots grew down into the soil, and that's what sucked up all those water, all that water and all those nutrients, so this could grow into a beautiful flower. This flower also has some leaves here that I thought were really cool and I wanted to show you. Of course, I have a song to teach you the parts of a plant as well. I love singing and I hope you join with me. I bet some of you recognize this tune. It's called Parts of a Plant and I'm gonna touch head, shoulders, knees, and toes. I know you can't see knees and toes, but that's what I'm doing when I go down here. Flower, leaves, stem, and roots, stem, and roots. Flower, leaves, stem, and roots, stem, and roots. These are the parts of a plant, yes I know. Flower, leaves, stem and roots, stem and roots. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Behind me on my fridge here, I'll bring you a little closer. I have a craft I made of plant parts. Now you can tell I have the petals labeled here. We talked about those. I'll show you the real petals. Very pretty. It's usually the colorful, pretty part of the plant. In the center here is where the seeds to make a new plant come from. Stem. Here's the stem on a real flower. And the leaves grow out of the sides of the stem, like this here. My favorite part of this craft is making the roots. This is the grass, and if you pull back the grass, I labeled and drew some roots because they're below the ground or the dirt. You can't really see them. So I thought that was pretty neat. Now, this is actually the last day of our plant unit. So I know it seemed quick, but you guys actually learned all you need to know about plants. You learned about their life cycle and you learned about what they need. Today we did plant parts. So I wanted to show you how my flower pot is looking. Now I remember, I think I planted four seeds. I'd have to go back and check my video to see, but I only have three little seedlings coming up. So that means one of my seeds didn't sprout and that happens, that's okay. That's why we planted more than one. So keep on watering these, taking care of these, putting, putting them in the sunshine. And I love when you guys send me um, seesaw pictures or email me pictures of you guys next to your plants. 